Have you ever wondered if something like this or this or this will change your life and finally make you organized, especially in the kitchen, a place you use every day and feels like it's never quite what you want it to be. Yeah, I've wondered myself. So today we have a plethora of kitchen organization products. We are going to figure out the catastrophe that is these kitchen drawers, that pantry over there. Let's test these out today and see which works, which doesn't, and what I can recommend for you. Now there's two parts where we can start. Number one is unwrapping all of these products and washing them. I do want to note that all of these like clear acrylic plastic storage containers are not dishwasher safe. This is technically the home edit brand that I picked up from Walmart. These are not the most budget friendly containers, although they're okay. They run about $20 per package. The smaller office drawer one, it was about 15. However, these are extremely similar to the eye design that you can get on Amazon. So if I can find some that are very close, I will link those below for you if you are looking for said items. Step number two, you have not decluttered your messy kitchen drawers. Let's do it with me right now. It has been so long since I have set eyeballs on what's actually in here. Usually I just chuck things in and close it and run away screaming. But we're actually going to take everything out, make a donate pile, a trash pile, and the things that we love and use a lot, those are gonna be the things that we keep. It's like super embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> what came out of one drawer? Some criteria for decluttering. We have to use it once a year. And if we use it less than once a month, it doesn't have to stay in easy access in the kitchen. Actually, I'm gonna use one of my plastic containers, like a, what does Cass call it? Like a clutter catcher? For things that I wanna keep but don't belong in the kitchen right now. And that will absolutely be the corn and the cob things, which, I use maybe twice a year, maybe. Oh my gosh, these silicone straws, I've never even opened these. Uh, are you guys a silicone straw person? Here's the truth. Oh, the oh, oh, they're bendy. I don't use straws, like at all. Um, I just use blender bottles that don't need a straw, so I'm gonna donate these. Uh, ditto with these bamboo straws and then the straw cleaner. Um, this is a pizza cutter, I have a better one, this one goes. Pumpkin stuff. <laughs> Even though some household decisions can be trial and error until you find the right solution for you, Earth Breeze has taken the concept of laundry detergent and flipped it on its head and gotten rid of everything that's wrong with the old fashioned laundry detergent, the big plastic bottles, the liquid based formulas. So Earth Breeze's powerful eco sheets, they look like dryer sheets, but they're not. It's actually soap. It's detergent that dissolves 100% in cold, or hot water, no measuring, you just toss it in and it takes up so little space, it's really easy to store. The packaging is compact, biodegradable and plastic free, dermatologically tested and safe for sensitive skin and noses. Their flexible subscriptions can be adjusted, paused or canceled anytime without penalty. And the most important part about all of this is that it works. It's tough on stains, removes odor, and I got a lot of boys in my house, so you know where I'm going with that. So you still get a powerful clean, there's no reason not to switch. And if for any reason you do not like it, Earth Breeze will give you a full refund, no questions asked, no returns necessary. My friends, are they going to give you a deal today by clicking on my link down below? Absolutely, I wouldn't have shared this with you without that discount code, 40% off. It is the first link down in the doobly-doo. It's earthbreeze.com slash frugalfitmom for 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash frugalfitmom to get 40% off of your subscription. First link down below, first link in the comments. I'm also a huge fan of companies that donate. So I wanted to tell you about their buy one, give 10 initiative. So each purchase donates 10 loads of detergent to a charitable cause of your choice. Now that's something I can get behind. If you have a charitable cause that you feel really strongly about, let me know down in the comments what that is so I can keep that in mind for my donations in the future. Thank you again to Earth Breeze. Now let's get back to more organizing. This is disgusting. So this is gonna get a trip through the dishwasher and this one will also go through the dishwasher. Okay, this is amazing. This is the keep pile. This is the get rid of pile. Wow. Is anyone 
else's Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray leave a film? Mine does. It leaves a film. I have to rinse it. That's annoying. Another reason Windex is king. Okay, I know it kind of looks like it's still a touch dirty, but that's just the cabinet finish is like wearing off. Can I get all my scissors in one? And like these are big. Those don't actually fit there. But these smaller ones don't actually fit anything that I kept. So I don't know. I don't know that these smaller ones make sense. Maybe they do make more sense in an office. So this, the previous owner built in this wood piece right here. So I could stick these larger pieces kind of tucked in the back like this because I don't access them all the time, but I do want to access them. And my cake decorating items, I actually don't use that often. So maybe this can come out too. And this is all I need. And the only issue is there's a little space here. So when the drawer opens and closes, these will shift. Because I suspected I might have extra room in the drawer after I decluttered, I did get these from Walmart and they have a spring loaded piece here and a rubber stopper here. So they should fit in the drawer to keep everything to the one side. Actually, <laughs> that's not gonna work because this piece is too long. Hmm. Unless I like that as a What do we think? Oh my gosh, this is a very, very strong spring. Holy smokes. Now maybe my cake pieces can go right there. That is not too shabby. I did not get rid of much silverware, just a couple of extra knives that I didn't need. Uh, I believe I have a set of 16. I bought this storage container from Walmart maybe nine years ago. You see all those holes? <laughs> all the, like if anything's crummy or anything, it goes through the holes into the thing and the metal is like scratching the cabinets. And it's a hair too big for what I need, but I did want one, two, three, four, five. So I need five other pieces to fit in here nicely to make it work that might look a little cleaner and less cluttered. This drawer is seriously beat up, stained, it's scratched, but it is clean for the first time in, it's embarrassing to say how long, so I won't. <laughs> you ever do a project like this that you've been putting off for a long time? And then when you do it, you're like, oh my gosh, what took me so long? Oh, that one does not fit. Oh no. Conclusion, the silverware one looks pretty good, but the knives do not fit. Do we like the clear look better or worse than the metal look right here? I thought we could declutter this drawer together. Why, why do I have an instruction manual? Let's throw all of those away. You can find all of that online. This is my fried plantain guy, making fried plantains. This is what you need. This is another one that we don't use that often. So this is gonna go in our clutter catcher. Why do I have a cheese knife? I don't eat cheese with a cheese knife. I go like this. I love my spatulas, those are staying. Staying! You know you're an adult when you have a favorite spatula. <sighs> Trash that. Uh, it's not quite, like quite long enough because I have like my huge pizza cutter. That's not fitting. Like that, that doesn't even fit there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's a reason I didn't have anything in this drawer. <laughs> because my items don't fit in here. These are my wine spouts. I use these for my olive oil container. This is just an old wine bottle. So I just, I replace these sometimes. Like that's pretty good. It's not cluttered at all. It looks nice, but I can't fit this in here. So I might have to put this somewhere else just cause it's so large. After working my way through the drawers, this is what I have left over. Three of the office supply ones. I found these just weren't quite the right fit for kitchen tools. And as far as the kitchen ones go, I thought these shorter, long ones worked really well for silverware. The longer ones worked mostly well for longer things like knives and tongs. They weren't quite large enough for uh, my pizza cutter, some of my tongs, some of my barbecue items. 
And maybe that's my issue because I have too many kitchen tools, so I need to pare down more. I'm not sure. Last organization thing we're doing today are these turntables. I'm a big fan of Lazy Susans or turntables in hard to reach places, a corner cabinet or the corner of a pantry. I think the sections that I would like to tweak is this corner right here. Uh, as you can tell, we have one thing of popcorn left and this is our protein bar container. This is our charging station. I don't wanna talk about that. <laughs> Another issue I would like to tackle is this breakfast area with the two Lazy Susans that I did buy. So here we go, let's see what we can do. In that process, I cleaned out two snack bins, two. Welcome to the breakfast section. I feel like we have a good amount of cereal right now. Part of that is because I pulled some up from downstairs when I did my basement grocery store declutter video. If you haven't seen that, it's this one right here. I'll leave it below. And also the cereal at the Dollar Tree. If you have not been to Dollar Tree to look for these, go do so. And if you live in an area with more than one, it would behoove you to go check out more than one because my local Dollar Tree did not have these but a dollar tree about 30 minutes away did. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine making muddy buddies with these? <laughs> oh, I have this granola and this granola, which is almost gone. And I typically keep my granola in this one. So yes, I will decant both of these into my granola bin. They're close enough to where it will be just fine. And I can get rid of two. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I can get rid of two more boxes or bags. And now I'm looking a lot better. Time to pull out this breakfast bin. I think I will reallocate a lot of these things to my last Lazy Susan. Now maybe I'll just do like the two big ones and then the two small ones. It looks a little nicer that way, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, more granola. <laughs> this is one issue with um, the bin like this is I just think things get lost in the bottom. Overall, I think it's a good concept. It does work for a lot of things, but I like this in order to see everything. Boom, okay, so now, now I have my breakfast box and it's just boxes within a box. <laughs> so I have cereal, mostly oatmeal and malt meal. That looks pretty good. And now I can put my syrup kind of over here because we use that for Waffle Wednesday. And I feel like we have definitely gotten some things under control here and utilized our Lazy Susans. Look at all these boxes I'm able to get rid of. This is amazing. I think we did amazing work today. Don't worry, I am gonna take these spares and do a bathroom reorganization as well. I feel like my kitchen is like coming together. Finally, I've only lived in the house for nine years. Hey, better late than never. But I'm not done yet. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. You are going to say that in my 100 things I'm not buying in 2023, I said I was not going to be buying storage containers anymore. You buy storage baskets with the idea that you're going to be organized and all you do is have more containers to put more stuff. No more baskets. No more baskets. No more baskets. Ha! Joke's on you. I bought all of these things in December in order to film this video. It just took me this long to do it. So they have been sitting in my office closet since December. Don't worry, all these items are still available if you want to go purchase them. I saw all of the home edit stuff at my Walmart and then everything else, the iDesign stuff and the Better Homes and Gardens like expandable drawer organizers, all still available. I wanted to share something with you. I think you're really gonna like it. I like it, so I hope you like it as well. I do read almost all of the comments that come through on my videos. I just wanna take a minute and tell you thank you for commenting and second of all, for making me laugh and making my day better. Some of you guys are hilarious. So I really wanted to highlight some of those comments that really made me laugh out loud. So here we go. Okay, the first video, Aldi shop with me and right now there's 1400 comments on this video, holy cow. Can I just say, I loved how many of you knew that my uh, quote was from the Goofy movie. Holly said, we should go to a Powerline concert. Yes, <laughs> I'll be there all day long. Kate says, a Goofy movie is the greatest Disney movie of all time. Roxanne should be a Disney princess. I will die on this hill. Amen, sister, amen to that. Why is she not a Disney princess? I have questions, I have a lot of questions. Susan said, oh, did you say you're going to buy 
all these snacks. Listen, we don't have time for puns like this, even good ones. I liked this one, Winco's smoked Gouda chips are redonkulous. I cannot pronounce that name, but noted on my list, I do have a Winco, we will be going. Shelly says, I named my cat Toffee Faye. <laughs> Now that's someone that loves toffee. So I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for making me laugh in that video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know which organization products are your favorite, which ones worked in your kitchens. I'm always looking for new solutions as I trial and error all this stuff. I like the look of the clear acrylic in the drawers. I really do. I just don't know if they're as functional as things that fit a little tighter. It remains to be seen. Overall, I am happy with today's progress. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.